With us today are Rachel Hopcroft, Head of Corporate Affairs, and Holly Smith, who leads our own impact strategy and reporting. And so, Rachel, I'm going to come straight over to you first, if I may. Uh, we're doing loads of work, aren't we, externally uh, on ESG, helping our clients, which is fantastic. But could you maybe just talk to us a little bit about the work that we are doing internally? Sure, John. Scrutiny on our business, like other big businesses, is probably the highest it's ever been. And at KPMG, we really want to lead by example in the hope that our clients will then follow us. And that's why last year we were the first of our competitors to publish our ESG plan and we call that our impact. And I'm so proud to lead this work. No, I, and it's fantastic work, but may, maybe um, could you just unpack a little bit more some of the great work that you, you guys, you both are doing internally? Sure. Our strategy spans across five pillars, John. Um, our clients, our people, our firm, our communities and our planet. Um, and just a few examples of the sorts of things that you can find on our microsite. Um, we've committed to be a net zero um, and a zero waste business by 2030. And we've also set ourselves some uh, quite challenging and tough targets um, around our diversity as an organisation also to be met by 2030. Incredible work, and I'm going to pick up on one word you said earlier. You said you're so proud. I know you're proud. I'm proud. We're proud. <laughs> Holly, over to yourself. Was it three awards that three we awards. won? Three awards. Fantastic. What's so unique about the work that we're doing? So ultimately, John, our ESG approach needs to meet and actually go beyond the needs and expectations of our stakeholders. And we need to clearly demonstrate how we're doing that and make our story accessible to that broad range of stakeholders. Rachel mentioned that we've created and launched a bespoke microsite to tell our ESG story, which actually has attracted over 75,000 visits to date. Our story spans over 32 individual web pages, which together house over 500 data points, which is more than we have ever published in the public domain before. Some of these data points have actually been independently assured for over seven years now. And by publishing all of this information, we actually became one of the first 50 organisations to respond to the World Economic Forum metrics, which actually KPMG helped co-design to support other businesses on their ESG journey. So, Holly, um, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. Sounds wonderful, great for KPMG, but is this benefiting our clients in any way? Oh, absolutely. By embarking on our own ESG journey, we understand firsthand the end-to-end -end challenges our clients are facing, which is helping us to shape market-leading solutions and advice to support them on theirs. Fantastic, Holly, thank you. So, Rachel, if I may, I'll come to yourself to close us out. Um, do you have any further thoughts on how the work that we're doing internally benefits the external work that we do for our clients? Well, in addition to all the points that Holly made that I completely agree with, the other big thing for me, John, is that the more that we can demonstrate that we are a purpose-led organisation that has its values at its core, that is committed to being as inclusive an employer as possible, the greater chance that we will have at attracting the best talent, retaining the best talent, and that in turn, I think, helps us serve our clients even better. Amazing. Thank you both so much.